Hello YouTube, Rubik's Cube X back today as a series of comments was listed in one of my videos and uh, after further discussion I learned that there's not a whole ton of Kiss Cluster tutorials or anything explaining how to exactly, I mean step by step exactly how to use Kiss Cluster with the Cube X 3D printer and I'm a fan of the 3D printer and I thought why not try to make videos to explain this awesome little device now keep it simple slicer is by far amazing once you get into the settings you understand understand how everything interacts it is definitely amazing quality compared to the standard software that comes with this big machine I have going in the background now once this is going to be a series of tutorials I'm going to try to teach and today is just setup this is going to be how do you download the software how do you get it to run third party third party filament right away and that means we're not going to do any settings we're just going to be able to run a file on the machine without changing anything so you might want to be careful doing this due to the fact that I'm unsure what settings you're going to have and we just want to keep it default so the first this video is more to be setting up Kisslaster not printing with but you can print with it but it's not recommended so let's get started so you're going to go to kisslaster.com and you're going to click downloads once you're in the download page you're going to want to click this uh, the red text is this is where you're going to want to be click your operating system and click download I'm win64 so that's what I'm going to download and I'm going to download it where I want it and one sec done this video too many times delete okay so you're gonna save it where you want to save it okay I don't care okay go back save okay basically you're just gonna save it somewhere where you want it and download next step after you download said file you're going to go over to cubexupgrades.com. This is the place where you can find tips, tricks, and everything about the CubeX Duo or Trio. It's definitely not very easy explanations. I mean, you have to kind of sift through it and read a bunch of forms to completely understand, but it gives you the basic principle. So, you're going to go to Cubit Mod. Once you're there, you're going to download two files. You're going to download this one right here, Cubit Mod Files. Download that. Click Save. Next, you're going to download the big bold one. And you're going to click Save. Okay. After that, that's all good. You can minimize your tab because we'll come back later. And after you do that, click File Explorer. Go to navigate to it basically. Now, I like to keep the original, so we're going to put these new. So basically you're just going to extract everything. Once it's all extracted properly, you can take the other files and if you like to save them, go ahead. If you don't, no big deal. I like to save them. If I ever mess up, then I have something good. To. So you're going to go to Cubit Mod first and there's a whole ton of files. You're going to click Control A, Control C, to copy them, then you're going to paste them in Kiss Lesser. Paste. Done. Now you can go back and delete the Cubit Mod files. It's no longer needed. Now you go to Cubit Mod 491, copy, Control C, go to this, Control V. And it's in there. Same thing, you don't need it anymore, so delete it. So after that's done, there's we're almost there. You're almost to that first file. Go to Kiss Lesser, and you're going to click it. The little program the exe now it might tell you this we don't care because uh, it's a perfect program and it's fine so you're going to click run anyway once it runs most of the time you won't get the bed so you need to go to printer and then you'll see hardware and you see bed stl you're going to click the dots if you do not see a bed then you should click bed done and that goes there and bed center needs to be negative 35 if it's not already done so Next up is you're going to go preferences, language, low language file, and there should be qubit mod PO. This allow, tells the kiss slicer what machine it is, and it basically gives you a couple more settings that you definitely want. So after that's set and done, 
you want to do one more thing that is very, very important in order to get your first file in the correct format. So you basically, we need to go to firmware. Now this post process command is very important. This is what tells the machine once it's done saving a file to go execute this file or to execute this little command prompt. Now this does not match up with this file. So we definitely we need to change that. So change it to qubit. Oh, sorry. Mod four nine one. And capitalizes are important as it is a name. So once that's done, you are pretty much good to go. Make sure that is checked. And now the settings and the styles, basically the how we're going to tell the machine what to do, we're not we haven't done that yet. It's all set as standard default stuff. So just be careful if you're going to print this. Just probably wait till the next video, then print the object. So you're going to click open. You're going to click fine tune because that's the standard object in case allows you to start tweaking. Once it's there, you're going to click slice. Now that it's sliced, it's going to tell you over here how long it's going to take to print the object. Then you click save. You're going to navigate to where you want the file saved. And I'm just going to put B. I want it saved here. And you click save. Now this is what you should get. Now, this is something that happens most of the time if you download Kisslizer from their website. It's going to give you a couple errors, and we need to fix that before we do anything. And it might say that it might work, but most of the time it doesn't work. And it's very difficult. So, what I'm going to do, there is attach. I will put the link, or I'll put the text in the description, and this is what we need to do. We actually need to take Kisslizer. Where'd it go? Oh, sorry. Over here. I open mine, my bad. So we need to take Kisslicer and go to print G code. So this is going to be the default G code that's inside. Now if we go through all the tabs, two of them are going to be blank. That's where we have to add the code. Now in the description I will label it what needs to go where, but this here is what we need to add. So we'll go, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it. Control V. It might not let you uh, right uh, left click, right clicking paste. So Control V. The same is cool. Scroll down. You're gonna select what you want. The same is cool. It will be labeled in the description. Go here. Click Control V. After that's all done, you are good to go. So now you click Save again. Just save right over top of the file you did because it's gonna fix it. And click Save. Yes, we know we're replacing it. And after that, you should get a CMD prompt. You should get this message, and you are good to go. So you can now take the flash drive, plug it in your machine, and click print. And a load, it's going to go crazy, and it's going to print. Now, something you definitely do need to know is if you're going to print, make sure your cartridge is out of the slot, or put a piece of black electrical tape around the chip. If you do not have the chip removed, or do not have the chip Block, then it's going to pretend or think that it's a case or print. You can print now by using the software without having the chip or the case in the cartridge. So you are good to go to print your first print. Thanks for watching this video. Tell me how I'm doing. Subscribe to below. Like this video. Please let me know if I'm going too fast or if I'm going too slow because I'm having fun making these videos. And please watch the next video if you want to make a really good print the next time.